18-year-old shooting guard Mojave King is Queensland's top basketball prospect. The Brisbane native will suit up for the Cairns Taipans as a next star in the upcoming NBL season, making the leap from high school to pro basketball. King was ranked 31st in ESPN's first mock draft for 2021 and will be on the radar of potential NBA suitors. Although he is a dual citizen of New Zealand and the USA, King wants to play for Australia. He has applied for Australian citizenship and hopefully we can see the Queenslander wearing the green and gold sooner rather than later. Originally a student of Brisbane State High School, King spent much of 2019 training at the NBA Global Academy, which is based at the Australian Institute of Sport in Canberra. King is very much an above the rim player, meaning he often finds himself on the highlight reel thanks to his emphatic dunks. And although he isn't known for his offensive rebounding, King's athleticism is occasionally on show when he gets in position for a putback jam following a missed basket. King's athleticism is hard to miss when he takes off in transition. The explosive two guard often initiates fast breaks himself, but is equally capable of receiving an outlet pass. He uses his speed to blow by defenders and create high percentage opportunities at the rim. King keeps it simple in transition. No fancy behind the back moves or crossovers, but that doesn't stop him from beating his defender. When he attacks the basket, King is far from a one trick pony. Yes he can dunk and he can finish with his preferred right hand, but the skillful guard is also capable of finishing with his left. This may sound like a fundamental basketball skill, but it's amazing how many top draft prospects are overly reliant on their dominant hand. When King drives to the hoop from the left, he puts his dexterity to use and this gives him an edge over many other prospects. King is no stranger to contact at the rim. He ranked third in free throw attempts at the under 18 junior championships last year and first in free throw makes. The Queenslander punished opposing teams that sent him to the free throw line, where he shot 85%. Since joining the AIS and the NBA Global Academy, King has really come into his own as an off-ball three-point marksman. At the 2019 NBA Academy Games, he averaged 16 points and three three-point makes per game, both of which were tournament highs. The sharpshooter shot a remarkable 50% from deep, and this was no fluke. He backed up this performance by shooting 48% from three at a prestigious junior tournament in Spain, where the NBA Global Academy were crowned champions. They defeated Barcelona's junior team to claim that title. King is best known as a scoring machine, but his passing ability is underrated. Since he joined the NBA Global Academy and started playing alongside the likes of Josh Giddy, the Queenslander has largely had an off-ball role, so we haven't seen him rack up the assists. However, when representing Queensland at the Under-18 Junior Championships last year, he was the team's go-to player. The shooting guard averaged a touch under 4 assists and a touch under 1 turnover per game, meaning he led the competition in terms of assist to turnover ratio. King is a capable passer in both transition and half-court situations. In the half-court, he knows how to find open shooters, especially on the three-point line. This makes him hard to double-team when there are other deadly shooters on the floor. King also knows how to find his big men in the paint. In situations where he gets double teamed or manages to draw defenders, the Taipans rookie keeps an eye out for open teammates. In transition, King is more than just a scoring threat. He's a dangerous passer on the break and knows how to find open teammates. King can therefore be a nightmare for opposing defenses to deal with, as they may be preoccupied with his scoring ability. Overall, the 18-year-old doesn't get enough credit for his passing ability, which we haven't seen as much since the Under-18 Junior Championships last year. King has shown real potential as an on-ball defender, especially in one-on-one -on -one situations. He is capable of altering shots, forcing bad passes, and muscling his assignment out of position. The 18-year-old appears to be well-built for his age and his frame, and that strength, combined with his quickness and plus wingspan, gives him the ability to stay in front of his man. King averaged 2.6 steals per game at the 2019 Under-18 Junior Championships, which was good enough for 5th place on the competition leaderboard. He is adept at disrupting passing lanes, 
thanks to his athleticism, positional awareness and wingspan. On top of that, King has a knack for converting his steals into easy buckets at the other end. And if you needed any more proof of King's athletic ability, the high flying guard occasionally comes up with a chase down block for the highlight reel. These don't happen often, but when they do, they really showcase his physical gifts on the defensive end. King plays efficient basketball in that he either shoots a three or takes the ball inside. We haven't seen much of his in-between game apart from the occasional floater or a rare pull-up jump shot. This part of King's game is therefore hard to assess given the relatively small sample size, but he has shown some good touch on floaters in the past. At the professional level, King would benefit massively from an improved mid-range skill set. If he develops the confidence to pull up inside the arc, that could unlock a less predictable offensive game. Although King excels in catch and shoot situations, he has shown less promise as an off dribble shooter, especially from 3 point range. Nevertheless, if his recent training footage is anything to go by, he's already at work on improving this aspect of his game. It was mentioned earlier that King is a strong on ball defender, especially in one on one situations. However, he is prone to getting caught out of position when defending off the ball. King often gives his assignment too much room when defending on the perimeter and gets punished for this at times. He also has a tendency to bite on pump fakes and struggles to navigate well executed screens. Overall, King is one of Australia's leading prospects for the 2021 NBA Draft. If he can put together a strong season for the Taipans in the NBL, while also producing strong showings at events like the Nike Hoop Summit, he might be looking at a first round selection. For more Australian basketball content, follow The Pick and Roll on Instagram and Twitter at the handle pickandrollau. Also make sure to check out our website at pickandroll.com.au. We're currently offering subscriptions at 50% off, so make sure you get in quick while it lasts.